What's up guys, hope you guys are doing well and staying safe at home. So today's video is a long awaited coffee and tea station tour. Before we get into it, everything that I talk about will be listed down in the description bar. Also prior to getting this machine, I was using another one which I talk about later on. And I do wanna say that you do not need expensive equipment at all to make coffee or tea. Um, this is just kind of like a hobby of mine that I really got fully invested in. But aside from that, I'm super excited to get into it. So let's get started. I'm scared to lift it because what if something falls underneath? Oh, it's heavy. It's 75 pounds. My back hurts already. This is where the water reservoir is, but like I said earlier, I had to test uh, different waters just to see what would be compatible with this machine. And then this drip tray is magnetic, so it just sticks right on the top. And that's the steam wand. This is the hot water, but People don't usually use that. They just use it to warm up the cup. I should have seen Jalen this morning. I pretty much stayed up all night because I've been working on this campaign, but Jalen was like out the bed, high energy, ran downstairs, ran to the elevator room, ran to her coffee machine. Okay, so I just finished making my coffee. It took a while for me to dial in the beans and kind of like get the momentum going with the steam pressure because it is a lot stronger than my previous machine. Um, but I have my oat latte here with my latte art. So prior to getting this machine, I had the Breville Barista Touch and I had that for two years before I decided to upgrade. And it is a great machine. It was super easy to learn and everything was like all touchscreen and automatic. So it made it really easy to use. That's something I would definitely recommend if you guys do you want to get a little bit more into learning about how to uh, brew espresso. There's even a model before that called the Barista the Breville Barista Express, which is like the same thing without the fancy touchscreen. And I think it's like half the price. So definitely check that out if you guys want to get more um, serious in the coffee making. So the right side of my drawer is all of my coffee stuff. And to the right over here, I have an extra box of the Parlor Coffee in Wallabout. This is the one that I'm currently brewing right now. I actually bought two boxes from Whole Foods just because I thought it would take a while for me to dial in the beans. But I guess I just have extra now. Um, usually I like to buy uh, one box at a time and just drink it until I'm finished with it and then get a new set because I want it to be as fresh as possible. Usually when you let coffee beans sit too long, um, it tends to get stale. But I do have a vacuum seal canister that helps prevent that. And then I have a bunch of these containers that I got on Amazon, which I will link everything down below. This one is instant coffee because I was super into the Dalgona trend. I guess if anyone just wants to come over and have quick instant coffee, then this is just here. Or if they want Dalgona coffee, then this is it. The second container holds my Cafe Du Monde coffee grounds. This one is specifically for Vietnamese coffee, which I drink once in a while. Um, I'll just switch off between the different types of coffees depending on how, how I'm feeling. But that is in that one. Next is chocolate that I got from Cho, and Cho is a chocolate company based out of Berkeley, California. And this is actually what Blue Bottle uses for their mocha. So I bought um, a bag, and this is what I use to make mocha sometimes. It's actually really good on its own as hot chocolate. I will link it down below because I would highly recommend it. It's so rich and it's so good. I think it's like 80% dark chocolate or cocoa, and it's really good next up i have i didn't label all of these yet i have cacao which is pure chocolate super good for you and i just kind of kept it in here because i didn't have space anywhere else but normally i would just put this in my smoothies or i guess you can also make this into a mocha as well behind that i just have extra coffee beans from a couple weeks ago that are probably stale by now because they aren't in proper canisters next up is this that I was talking about, this is from Fellow, and this is the vacuum seal canister that 
I always keep all my coffee beans in. So normally, like I said, I would just get one bag of coffee beans until I finish it and then I just put it in here. But the cool thing is you just twist it to remove all the air. And then to release the air, you just press this button right here. And it just holds all the coffee beans, helps it stay fresh. Now for the bottom is where I store kind of like my miscellaneous items for my Chemex, for my V60. Um, I just have my Chemex filters down here. I have my filters for my V60, which I actually just bought recently. And that's what I was brewing with a lot before I got this machine um, in the mail. It's pretty easy to make, I like it a lot. And I'll either do pour over or I'll do Japanese iced coffee. And then over on the left side, I have three pitchers. This is my latest one, and this one is a handleless pitcher, and I really like it. It actually has a sleeve as well to protect my hands from burning from the milk, and I like it because I can just steam the milk and then keep my hand on the bottom to kind of gauge the temperature. Next one is the one that comes with the Linea Mini, and I actually haven't used this yet. And then the third one is the one that I was using before. I think I got this from Amazon and it works pretty well. I was able to get a decent pour out of it and I was able to do latte art with my Breville. So this is a really good one if you guys are starting out and want to learn. So on the left here, I have all of my teas and I switch between tea and coffee depending on how I'm feeling, but I get majority of my tea leaves from, I think it's called Tea People US and I believe it's the same founder as Boba Guys. I really like it, it's really good quality. I have some golden black tea here that's from China. I have some jasmine tea, some black tea. I have some chrysanthemum that I got from the Asian supermarket. It's super good for um, breakfast when we're eating dim sum at home or anything like that. And then this one I didn't label yet, but this one is Earl Grey that I got sent to me from a company. I'm not really a big fan of Earl Grey, so I just have that in here for if whenever guests want to have Earl Grey, then it's here. And then I have these tea bags from Harney and Sons. This one is chamomile, mainly for Andy because it just helps him uh, sleep better at night. And then I have this big jar of matcha, uh, but I will say this is not ceremonial grade. I think this is the Itoen brand, the Japanese brand. It is like half sugar, half matcha, and this is kind of like my lazy way of making matcha, which is why I have so much of it because it came in a big bag. But normally if I want to have ceremonial grade matcha, I would get it from Ipado. I ran out recently, so this is like what I drink if I um, just am kind of craving matcha. This is just instant boba that I got from the Asian grocery store. It takes like 10 minutes to make. And then this one is just like a miscellaneous jar that I don't really uh, drink. Typically I like to brew loose tea leaves instead of tea bags just because it is more fresh. But I just have some miscellaneous stuff here. This is the same brand as the matcha that I was using, but just the green tea bags. And then just some jasmine tea down here that I don't really touch but it smells really good. This one is just decaf black tea that I bought because I was trying to make Thai tea from scratch, but it did not turn out that good, so I don't know. <laughs> Brown sugar, which I use for milk tea. This is a staple. You just turn this into a simple syrup and then you just pour it into your milk tea. And then lastly, I have the superfood latte blends from Gold. And I really, really love their cacao turmeric blend. That one I actually finished in a month. I was drinking it every single day. It's so good. I actually ordered more, but they're on back order. So I've been drinking their matcha turmeric. This is the one that I had this morning. And then they also have the original turmeric. Down here, I have all the tools that I need to brew tea with. This one is from Tivana, and it's cool because you just put the loose leaf teas in here, add your water, and when you're done, you press the bottom and it drains into a cup. And then I have the traditional teapot that I got from Amazon. It's super cute. And then this one I got sent to me by a company. It's a tea espresso, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as a mocha pot, so I you can put coffee in here if you wanted to as well. Behind that, I have two coffee fins, which are for Vietnamese coffee. I have a smaller one and a larger one. I typically gravitate more towards the larger one. Now moving on to the top drawer. This is where I keep all of like my everyday essentials. I have my two portafilters in here from La Marzocco. This one came with the machine and this one I had to buy separately because it's a naked bottomless portafilter. Also comes with a bunch of different size baskets. I have a scooper that came with the V60, which is really, really convenient. I also have a tamper that I got from St. Anthony Industries and I got this for my 
previous machine also but because the basket size is bigger for the linen mini i had to buy new ones this one is a distribution tool and this one is a tamper and then i also have some metal straws that i use every single day i also have boba straws i also have my milk frother which is really good you don't have to have an espresso machine to froth milk you can use this little tool i even think they have it at ikea for like two dollars but i got this on amazon for less than ten dollars and it's just an automatic milk frother. All you have to do is put your milk in the microwave, put some air into it, and then it'll froth up really nicely. You can make a latte, cappuccino, whatever you want. I also use this to mix some of my powder sometimes if I'm making matcha and I'm too lazy to use the traditional bamboo whisk, or if I'm mixing the superfood latte blends, then I'll just use this. And then lastly, I just have two mini strainers that I was using for the drink tutorials, just for like the teas and stuff. In the second drawer are all of my cups for my teas and coffee. I got everything on Amazon except these cups right here. This one is super nice. It's white with copper finish on the bottom. This one is black with black on the bottom. This one is from Fellow and I love it because it's designed in a way to help you pour latte art a lot better because the inside is curved and it really does help. Everything else like these cups, cappuccino cups and espresso cups I got from Amazon and I think they were pretty inexpensive. They also came with saucers, which is really handy, but that's pretty much it. And then lastly, the drawer on the bottom, I have all of my, I guess, cold drinks and also my matcha bowls. I got these from different places. These two I got from Amazon, they're super nice. I've had these for a while now. I added it to the collection because I wanted something with a spout because it just made it easier to pour, obviously. This one I got from, I think a, a company called Matcha Chaologist in New York. I love it. It's clear. It also has a spout. It's just exactly what I wanted. And then I discovered this super talented ceramic artist in New York and she was selling her matcha bowls and she had a limited stock. So I set my alarm immediately because she only had like one of one of everything. And I got this super beautiful pink matcha bowl. I just love the pink finish. I love the spout. It just feels really nice. It was really beautifully made. I'm gonna link her Instagram down below in case she has more drops in the future. You guys can check her out. But this is one of my favorite pieces. I love it so much. Also with the teapot, came with these two teacups. And they're so cute, look at them. And it also comes with these cute little saucers. And then I also have this teapot that I got from Kinto. It's a Japanese brand and I love it so much. You can remove the strainer on the inside and this is what I also use to brew my iced coffee with, my pour overs. I just put my V60 on top. Sometimes I'll fill it with ice if I want a Japanese iced coffee. And yeah, it's one of my favorites. I also have these double wall cups for cold drinks, hot drinks, whatever. The double wall just helps keep the temperature. Lastly, I have these beer cups that I love for ice lattes, cold drinks, whatever. They just look cute. Now, last but not least is the counter area. And I love it because it just, it has so much space for all of my coffee needs. And it's the perfect size for this little nook here in my kitchen. To the right, I have my espresso machine, obviously. And then next to it, I have my new grinder. And it's the Niche Zero Grinder. And I love it. It matches the linea so well, the black and white with the wood accent. It's so beautiful. And then in front of that, I have two scales from the same company. I believe it's called Akea or Akaya. I don't really know. This one is the baby version. It's called the Lunar and this one is called the Pearl. This one I keep on my drip tray to help weigh out my espresso. And this one I keep on the counter to weigh out beans or for pour over. Next to my grinder, I have my bamboo tray, which came as a set with the black matcha bowl that I showed you guys earlier, along with this matcha whisk and stand. It lasted me a really long time. I've had it for a while now. And then also this milk pitcher that I got from Target. I just thought it was super cute. And this one I just keep here to kind of like keep my spoons when I'm mixing my coffee. To the left of that is my Chemex. This one is a six cup one, which I don't use very often just because I don't really drink that much coffee. You can brew like less than that, I got the V60 just because I wanted to brew smaller cups. And this one is really nice, would recommend it. And lastly, I have my fellow kettle, which a lot of you guys always ask whenever I post it. It is 
pricey for a kettle, but it is 100% worth it. I love it so much. This is something that I would give out as gifts all the time if I could, especially if you guys are coffee drinkers or even tea because you can control the temperature and it holds that temperature for I think up to an hour. Just like coffee, uh, tea is very sensitive to different temperatures. So you can't brew green tea with the same temperature as you would with black tea. Uh, same thing with coffee. So it is very, very useful and it looks very good on the counter. So would highly recommend it if you guys are like investing more into your coffee or tea gear. Yeah, that is pretty much it for my what's in my coffee station. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys are staying safe and I'll see you next time.